Alan and Cheryl Hamilton Chicago closes in just a few short months and many of the stars will pack up. They'll leave Chicago, but not Miguel Cervantes and his family if they can help it. Chicago is now home in part because of the struggles that they've faced here. I sat down with Miguel and his wife Kelly to learn more about the cause that has eclipsed even the role of a lifetime. For the first time, I'm thinking past tomorrow. As the lead of Hamilton, Miguel Cervantes brings Chicago audiences to their feet every night. Behind the scenes. Instead of just being this guy on top of this amazing show, I am now the guy who plays Hamilton who is fighting uh, a battle. His daughter's devastating diagnosis has the power to bring Miguel and his wife Kelly to their knees. Three-year-old Adelaide was diagnosed with a severe form of childhood epilepsy around the same time Miguel was cast in Hamilton. As he uprooted his family from New York to Chicago, her future was uncertain. Today, the disease has robbed Adelaide of milestones she celebrated. Kelly has transitioned from working outside the home to the role of constant caretaker and nurse. My baby girl used to sit in a high chair and bang toys on the table. She used to eat by mouth. She would laugh and track us across a room. Yeah, I see you. She engaged with us and, uh, and, and now she's gone. We are fighting so that no one ever has to count how many seizures happen in a day. Raising awareness and money for epilepsy research is the most powerful tool Kelly and Miguel believe they have left. She's still fighting, and I've told her so many times, you just let me know, baby girl, I love you, and I'm gonna love you forever, and I'm with you. <sighs> but she's dying, and we can't do anything about it. Adelaide's army is made up of doctors, nurses, and friends. They all contribute to the little girl's care and they give Kelly and Miguel the little bit of breathing room they need to channel their grief into purpose. Even seven-year-old Jackson has taken on the role of activist, teaching his classmates about what a seizure looks like. What, put her arm out and it kind of vibrates? Does that mean she's gonna have a seizure? seizure? Kelly writes about the family's struggle in her blog, Inchstones, while Miguel uses his celebrity to put the spotlight on her advocacy. It's something near India to me to make this daddy's heart bleed. All these I think of myself as a monkey with a symbol, right? So people can look at me, hey, hey, look at me. Look at how exciting this is. Only as strong as I seem. And then you should stop looking at me and look at my wife. I want a cure for epilepsy. I want the fear that people have of talking about it. I want that to end. I, I want my baby girl to live. And I don't get that. So I'm gonna fight like hell for all the rest of it. Hey, Adelaide, baby. That's strong. Good job. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Adelaide has inspired the My Shot at Epilepsy fundraising campaign. Donations support an organization called CURE, Citizens United for Research in Epilepsy. Now, November is also Epilepsy Awareness Month. There is lots happening. CURE is holding its annual fundraiser in Chicago next month. We'll have all of the information for anybody who's interested posted at abc7chicago.com. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.